never leave your dog behind again. What are we doing? Are you on video? Are you on video? What are we gonna do today? We're gonna start off by saying that I've always been allergic to these things, these creatures right here. But thankfully I had a friend who had a few of these Maltese dogs and I found out that I really wasn't allergic to them. So soft, so soft. Oh, you're so cuddly and soft, yeah. Long story short, I bought a family dog and his name's Bolt. And yes, he's fast. As you already know, I like to bike. My wife likes to bike. The kids like to bike. Does he like to bike? That's the question. What's this? I started off by getting this pack, this carrier, which held him underneath me. And he loved it. But in all honesty, this pack was not comfortable because it was on the underside of me and it really pulled on my shoulders while I was riding. So his weight was on the underside, it just didn't work. I know he's a small dog and he's only 12 to 14 pounds, but after an hour or two of riding with that hanging, it just gets uncomfortable. If you do want to try this pack, it will work for shorter rides. I'll put a link in the description. It's called the Pawapoo. It's called the Pawaboo. Pawaboo, Pawaboo, Pawaboo. I did some searching online and I found this site, caninesportsack.com. Can you hear him whining? He's excited because he sees me with this pack. They had dog packs on their site. They were a little more expensive than the one I just showed you, but they looked a lot more comfortable. I read the reviews, I clicked the order button, and was excited to get my pack. Let's see how excited he gets when he sees me with this pack and he knows we're getting ready to ride. Are you ready to go on a bike ride? Are you ready? He's actually smarter than this. I think he realized I wasn't in my riding gear and he said, whatever, dude, this is not time for a bike ride. He didn't get as excited as he normally does. He usually flips out. I can't take him out right now because it's cold and I think he knows that he would freeze to death. Normally he's jumping around on his hind legs for at least two minutes on his hind legs, just jumping up and down like a kid is excited when he goes to Chuck E. Cheese. We were so happy when this pack arrived. This pack is so comfortable for me, I can take him on two hour rides if the weather permits. He loves going on the single track. He loves riding with the kids. He loves cruises on the pier as the old women adore how cute he is. My wife takes him for rides on her back. When we're walking around at bike races, he can go in the pack so that he's not getting in the mud or, you know, doing dog stuff. The pack we got is the K9 Sport Sack Air, which runs about $70. You can use it for biking like we do, you can use it for hiking, you can use it for walking, you can use it for transporting your dog. There's so many uses, it's well worth the $70. They also have a Sport Sack Trainer, which is a little less money, $49.95, so about 50 bucks. They also have a K9 Sport Sack Urban 2, which just has a little different style to the bag, and that's about $85. They have a K9 Sport Sack Air Plus, which is $90, and that allows your backpack to have a little more room in behind the dog for you to store stuff. So the one we have has little pockets on the side that you could put water bottles in or other things for storage. The Air Plus has a bigger compartment behind the dog that you could put other things in. They also have a K9 Sport Sack Rover, which is for dogs that are bigger than what I have, and I think it's around 30 to 80 pound dogs, and that backpack is about 190 bucks. So check them out. I'll have a link in the description. So how do I get this dog in the sack? Well, it's not that hard when they learn how to get in the backpack. I usually first stand him up on his hind legs and get his front paws through the holes for his front feet. There's also a carabiner spot, which I carabine his collar to the backpack so he can't crawl out 
and jump out to go chase squirrels or another dog. After I do that, I have him sit and I get his hindquarters in the bag, as you can see there. And then I start to zip up, trying to make sure I don't zip his fur in and making sure he's snug in there. And once I get him all the way zipped up, it's time to buckle him in. There are three on there. Make sure they're all completely buckled and then I cinch him down just a little bit to make sure again that he can't get out. Squirrel. Bam, and he's ready. We're ready to go. Are we ready to go? Oh, ear kisses are awesome. <laughs> One more exciting thing for the dog, the backpack is vented. So on really hot days, he can stay cool or she. This is the old sack I would carry him in as you can see in the video here. I need to get creative to film him in the new pack as in the new pack he's on my back and not on the front of me like he is in this sack where he's directly in front of the camera. This pack is easy convenient it brings enjoyment to our whole family you should hear my eight-year-old when the dog's in this on my back and she's behind me it's non-stop giggles it's great i have not tested this out with a big dog so i can't tell you how comfortable it would be with the 70 pound dog on your back but who knows if you've tried it let us know get down in the comments let us know about your amazing experiences with your dog and this backpack if you like bikes and dogs, help support the channel and grab some bike stickers. I put them on my vehicles. Stay tuned for the next video, so be sure to click subscribe and the bell so you don't miss out on anything exciting. Watch another epic video just by clicking on it. Thanks for watching.